Hello everyone, this is me, Ibrahim Absalam. In this video, I will talk about weekly timer and yearly timer in CMS Logo. The weekly timer controls an, an output by means of a configurable on of the date. The function support uh, supports any combination of week date. To have better understand it, let's simulate it and see how it works. I open Logo Soft Comfort. I will drag and drop one output and I will drag uh, the weekly time. Okay, let's connect it. Double click on it. So I will activate cam one. Uh, let's say I would like to have a daily output and when I want my output start from 3 a.m. to 3 3 search and I want one output happens in Friday only it can I will it happen from 12 to 14 okay now let's see how to uh, how to simulate this uh, that the timer press the simulation button Click on this clock icon now. Uh, based on the calendar, we can uh, uh, simulate this time. For example, we need an about happen in 3 a.m. until 3:30. So I will regulate that clock to be 3, 3:30, 3:28, and let's apply. You can see the timer is high. If the time, let's say it's uh, not 30 or anything else the output will be zero that's how the weekly timer work now we need to know how to transfer uh, to set the logo clock or adjust the logo clock we go uh, go to tools transfer then set clock brush refresh Double click, that's the connection. Okay. Now the uh, the uh, your PC is connecting to the logo. Okay. But it is stop mode. Okay. Now today date is. Uh, you can read direct the time from your VLC or you can write the time uh, what you want. So read from VLC, this is the time. So it's 2019, 7th, day 10, hour is 9, minutes 51. Okay, apply to logo. Now this clock, uh, the logo clock has by this way you can set logo clock. Change to run. If your logo is power and is connected, you can see the clock now is adjusted in your logo. Let's go to the next timer, it's a yearly timer. In yearly timer, uh, the time range from 2010 to 2099 is too long. You set the on and off period and day. So let's say we need to have output from June to August, uh, from 1st of June to 15th of August. So June is one six, 1st of June till 15th of August. Okay. Let's simulate this one. By adjust the clock, we can change the months from here May, June, it's July. Apply so the output is high. Okay, we go to September, uh, September, apply the output is low. Okay, that's the weekly timer and yearly timer. Let's have a small case study exercise three. Write a PLC program of an automatic irrigation system for garden that operates as follows. 
from the 1st of January to 30. Thirty of April, the irrigation system operates once every Saturday from 7 to 7.30. From the 1st of May to 30 of June, the irrigation system operates every Saturday and Monday from 7 to 7.30 and every Wednesday, uh, Wednesday from 7 to 7.45. From, uh, from the 1st of July to 30, 30th of October, the irrigation system operates daily from 7 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. From the 1st of November to 30, 31 31st of December, the irrigation system operates once every Saturday and Tuesday from 7 to 7.30. Okay, let's do this example. We'll make it step by step from 1st of January to 30th of April, the irrigation system operates once every uh, system operates once every Saturday from 7 to 7 30. Okay, let's do this part. We need one yearly timer, one weekly timer. This yearly timer operates from Paris to April 30 April and we have every Saturday from 7 to 7.30 oh. We we'll need AND gate And we can put our robot in here. Okay, let's see this is part. See if it works. Go to our clock. We are in standard. Nothing happened, of course. Go to January or February. Apply time. No worry. 7 7 28 apply. It's not Saturday, uh, it's a Friday, next day, next day, it's Saturday, apply, okay. Anything else, uh, clock will not work. Any other day, okay. the clock is not, the irrigation system is not work. So, we have done the first part, okay. From 1st of May to 13th of June. The irrigation system every Saturday, Monday from 7 to 7.30 and every Wednesday from 7 to 7.45. Let's do this part. We need uh, one week time up one. From 1st of May to 30th of June. The irrigation system operates every Saturday and Monday from 7 to 7.30. Okay. Uh, Saturday and Monday from 7 to 7.30 and in Wednesday it operates from 7 to 7.45 We need an OR gate to control to have our robot Let's go to let's do the second part. We need this.
we need three lines and we will connect it we just now need only to adapt the clock we can move this and Okay. From 1st of July to 30 of October, it operates daily from 7 to 7.45, 1st of July, now it operates daily. We don't need this one, we need this one, 7 to 7.45, so it operates daily from 7 to 7.45. The time from 1st of July to 31 to 30 of October, okay. And finally, from 1st of November to 30 of December, it operates one every Saturday and Tuesday from 7 to 7 730. 1st of November, okay, from 1st of November. Till the end of year, the year 31. We have a reading system from 7 every Saturday and Tuesday from 7 to 7 30. We don't have anything. Okay. Okay. okay, now let's simulate this program. Adjust our clock. So we are in February, so we expect the uh, system operate will operate at uh, Saturday. So it's now Saturday 728. So the regulation system is operating. Let's do another case study here. We uh, have daily irrigation. From 1st of July till 30 of October, from 7 to 7.45. Okay, from July. 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 You can see the system operate from this branch until 7.35. So now the irrigation system starts. Okay, we finish. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.